both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. He makes his way out to about the 35. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. And they get the sack. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Passing situation here, a third and long. Ball on their own 27. Here we go. Out of bounds at the 33. Good for a game six yards. Fourth down. Oh, excellent punt. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Bulls have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that's to your Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game or some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Let's go! He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. their own 26 yard line third down intercepted tackle made to the 38 yard line It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. Second and 13. Larry, Larry. 34's the mic. 34's the mic. He's coming. Check. They'll go with the run once again. Gets to about the 37 yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. That makes it seven. Right around the 44-yard line. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. He has some room. And down he goes, right around the 34. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. 
and he hits him hard at the 26 yard line. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. So they're going to go for it here. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Caught, and he steps out of bounds. Pretty good game. More importantly, though, it's good for the first down. That's heartbreaking for a defense. They stopped him on the first three plays, but they just couldn't contain the pass on fourth down. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Play fake. Fires off play action. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, field stands. stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. And he hits the PAT. An 11 play, 61 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown. Auburn, the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. He's tackled at the 38. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Out. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Yard pickup on the old play action pass. The play action froze the defense just long enough for the quarterback to get the ball to the receiver. It's a nice play. From the 38 yard line, second down. My five, my five, my five. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down around the 27 yard line. Number 14. First down. Ready! Three, three, three. 
zips it to the back. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. That's a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's second and 12. Ball on the 29-yard line. Let's go! They'll bring him down at about the 17-yard line. Number 26 on the tackle at the 17-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Five's the mic! Five's the mic! Fires it out. And now he's got room to run. And he is drilled at the 14. That makes it second and eight. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Auburn's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Mike five. Mike five. Let's go. The handbag picks up a yard. It's third and seven. Ball on the 13. Mike five. Mike five. Gray, Gray 95! Gray 95! Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Auburn holds a four-point lead. And they got him for a loss. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. That'll bring up second and eleven. Four down, four down. Tony throws the mic. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That'll bring up third and eight. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of 80 yards. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's tackled at the 47. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He tackles him for a loss. Second and 15, ball on the 42-yard line. Again with a carry. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Tackle. 
that makes it first and ten. ten. From the 28 yard line, first down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. He's at the 20. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. This is the eighth play of the drive. They come out in a goal line set. Gets to about the 17 yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive and they'll try to convert again here. Throws. Going to the end zone. Touchdown for the tight end. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 52-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, 10-7. South Florida is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he throws it away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Five wide. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Going right to his tailback. Tackle at the 25-yard line. The Bulls are going to call their second timeout. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And down he goes, the 39-yard line. The Bulls offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game, even though he's not having great stats. He's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack at that. Uh, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention. It really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it would be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. South Florida has a three-point lead. Going deep, lays it out there. And he went way up, and he's got the interception.
The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route, but regardless, still great play by the defense. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Steps up. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Seven yards there. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Caught and big hit there to stop him. Here's the halfback with a first down grab. And down he goes at the 39. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. 10-7, bull. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. Oh, yeah. You get them in long yardage situations. What does that do for a defense? Well, it's it's so much fun. You start with a defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. South Florida holds a field goal lead. Makes it out to about the 33. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. play here and run support by the linebackers. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. My five, my five. Here we go. Right. Okay. He's scrambling. They bring him down. Boy, that time the defense did a really good job of bringing pressure. They brought the blitz, and really it freed up the defensive line to eventually put pressure on the quarterback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires out quickly, incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. That brings up third and 12. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 34. 
34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. They come out in a five check, wide check, set. Check, 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 check. Slings it. He's tackled at about the 45. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 45. That's a D10. That'll make it second and inches. Yeah, easy kill, kill. He goes out of bounds around the 28 yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's wrapped up for the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it. Kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He's got the corner. He takes it right side for a good game. That's a game. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. My five, my five, my five. Set. Green 19. Green 19. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. They're packed in tight on the line. And he's taken down at the 40. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Good outside run there. That makes it Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull out there, check the outs out there. Four down, four down. Set, green at the eight. Fires it out. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Green 88. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. That's a deep. 
brings up second and one. He gets out to about the 21 yard line. Game of 17 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 21. He makes it to the 18-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. It's the ninth play of the drive. So at the end of three, this one's all even at 10. All tied up, and we head to the all-important fourth quarter. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. <laughs> and he gains around three on that keeper. <laughs> so it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Knocked out of bounds at the 11. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Watch number 12. Watch number 12. Let's go. And they push him out at the four. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Finds his receiver, touchdown. <laughs> and he tacks on the extra point. They're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This has been like a heavyweight bout, Kirk. Both teams just hammering each other defensively. Love to watch two defenses fly around like this and just lay into these offenses, not giving them any chance to put any points up on the board. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Here they come. Brought down at the 26-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And they make the stop around the 41 yard line. He lets it fly. Caught by the sophomore. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal.
Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Good game here, 17-17. Auburn gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. got it. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 39-yard line. First down. He scrambled. He gets sacked on the play. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. Number 19 makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops First back to pass. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Here we go! Goes left and tackled in a hurry. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Here we go. Green nine. Tackle at the 34-yard line. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. That'll, That'll make, make it 35. 35. So we're looking at another third down here. Four down, four down. My five, my five, my five. Just throws this one away. Kick is away. It's long enough. And it's good. South Florida lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimmick. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First and 10, ball on their own 42. A little over a minute in the game. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number four, the intended receiver. 
Third and long here with a vital drive in the fourth quarter, and they need a conversion. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And a quick throw. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Over the middle to his tailback. Got a man, watch out here. And down he goes around the 33 yard line. From the 33 yard line. First down. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Catches it, and he's punished. Auburn's going to have to use their second time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled at about the 15 yard line. Under a minute left in the game. Fires quick. He's got another one. for the touchdown and it's going to be an interception and that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense they couldn't have picked that off at a better time just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass especially at this point in the game three down, three down. we should just see the quarterback take a knee right here winding down the rest of this clock nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee the Tigers they're going to have to call their third and final timeout here we go and he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. We had a fight to the finish here today. 2017, boom. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.